Good evening and welcome to the news of Ashrok TV. Today's stories include The negotiations between the government and the armed movement have completed some points related to the general principles. The SRF groups welcome Sudan's new mission call to maintain the UNIMED. The Professional Association affirms its support to the transitional government. The spokesman of the Justice and Equality Movement and its members of the negotiations, Mr. Muhtasim Ahmed Saleh, has announced that the current negotiations between the government and the armed smuggled movements have completed some points related to the general principles in the file of security agreements. He said in a statement that the agreement was reached on the stages and starting points of the security agreements in the geographical level. Mr. Saleh indicated that the negotiations are continuing on the mechanism and committees that supervise the ceasefire. The government delegation for peace and negotiation, chaired by the member of the Sovereign Council, Lieutenant General Shamsuddin Kabashi, held via video conference a negotiation session with the participation of all the parties, including the Revolutionary Front factions, in addition to the Sudan Liberation Movement, led by Mr. Menni Minnawi, and the Sudanese Alliance, led by Mr. Khamis Abdullah in the presence of the chief mediator, Dr. Diou Matok. The member of the Sovereign Council, who is the government delegation spokesman, Mr. Mohammed Hassan at said that the session discussed, amongst other issues, the transitional period, reform, and development of the military and security sectors. The participation of the peace process parties in the transitional period institutions, as well as the national capital commissions and the committee and the national institutions. Mr. Taayushi has described the negotiations as excellent, adding that the negotiators have reached a consensus on a number of issues. South Sudan welcomed the acknowledgement of its role in bringing the peace and stability to Sudan and pointed to the significant process achieved in the process of two weeks ahead of the signing of the initial peace agreement, speaking to reporters through a video conference session of talks between the transitional government and the Sudanese Revolutionary Front, the SRF, Mr. Dio Matok, the deputy chief mediator applauded the adoption of the two resolutions by the Security Council, saying they focus on achieving peace and stability in Sudan. Mr. Matok also echoed the call by the UN Security Council to hold out groups that refused to take part in the peace process to join them in the Juba mediation talks. The UN Security Council decided to establish the United Nations Integrated Assistance Mission, known as the UNIMED, to assist the country in the transitional period. According to the UN website, the mission will assist the country in its transition towards democratic governance, providing support for peace negotiations and bolstering efforts to maintain an accountable rule of law and security institutions. The Sudanese Revolutionary Front welcomes the establishment of the new United Nations mission for Sudan, but at the same time called to maintain Darfur's peacekeeping operations. In a press conference held in Juba via video conference meeting, on the national issues with the government delegations, the chief negotiators of the SRF resolutions 2524 and 2525 represent real support for peace and stability in Sudan. Mr. Ahmed Tagud, the JEM chief negotiator, welcomed the extension of the UNIMED mandate until the end of the year and expressed hope 
that the assistant mission that will evaluate if there is a need or not to maintain the mission will open the doors for its continuation in the future. He further said that the UNIMAD is needed to create a conductive environment for the implementation of the future peace agreement and protection of civilians. Mr. Yasser Arman of the SPLMN, Agar deputy leader, however, regretted that the SRF had not been consulted by the African Union and the UN on the UNIMAD decision. The Sudanese Professional Association has affirmed its backing to the transitional period and its institutions and asserted its support to the current negotiations so that comprehensive peace can be achieved as a priority of the transitional government. At the regular news forum of Sudan's news agency, SUNA, stated on Saturday, the member of the Professionals Association, Mr. Ismail Attaj, affirmed their keenness to maintain the unity of the association. The revolution forces and the forces of freedom and change assuring their commitment that they will live up to the pledge to the martyrs to realize the goals of freedom, peace, and justice. Mr. Attaj has denied the claims on the professional association's calls to overthrow the transitional government, which came through great sacrifice, stressing the importance of completing the power structure by forming the Legislative Assembly and giving a great opportunity for representation of the youth and women due to their leading role in the glorious December Revolution. The local government minister, Dr. Yusuf Adam al -Day, briefed on the overall security and health situation in North Kurdufan state. This came when the minister met the wali or governor of the state, Major General Al-Sadiq Al-Tayyib Abdullah, who briefed him on the process of the administrative works, the reactivation of the native administration, and the efforts being exerted to solve the tribal problems in the state. The minister praised the state's efforts for maintaining security and stability in North Kurdufan. The Army and the Rapid Support Forces, the RSF, have recaptured defense points from the two rebel groups representing the Sudan Liberation Army movement, which were led by Mr. Abdel Wahid Noor and the Revolutionary Sahwa Council in the Khartoum area and the West Jebel Marra area, announced the Wali of Central Darfur. The commander of Infantry Division Major General Suleiman al lamin affirmed that the Army and the RSF groups are in full control of the Khartoum area following the aggressive attacks on the area by the rebels, describing it as a, viol describing it as a violation to the ceasefire announcement by the transitional government as an initiative for completing the peace process. The Federal Ministry of Health has announced the registration of 151 new cases of coronavirus, as well as 14 deaths and 99 recoveries, according to the epidemic report. The new coronavirus cases were as follows, 41 cases in Jazeera State, 4 cases in the Blue Nile State, eight cases in North Darfur, one case in Kassala State, two cases in Gadarif State, four cases in the Red Sea State. The recovery cases were 63 in Khartoum State, 23 cases in Al Jazeera State, one case in the White Nile, two cases in Sinar State, one case in the Blue Nile State, two cases in East Darfur state, and seven cases in North Darfur. The Secretary General of the Government of the Jazeera State, Mr. Adil Mohammed Hassan, received a UAE grant to fight the coronavirus pandemic. 
represented in PPE for the medical staff, sanitizers, and masks. Mr. Al Hassan thanked the UAE on behalf of the government of the state, saying that the grant will strengthen the state's effort to curb the spread of the pandemic in the state. Reminding headlines. The negotiations between the government and the armed movement have completed some points related to the general principles. The SRF groups welcome Sudan's new mission but calls to maintain the UNIMED. The professional association affirms its support to the transitional government. That was it from Ashuruk TV. See you next time.